Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today, I have this week's F1 update. And frankly, there's a couple of things to go over this week, but not much. Now, last week, we had the reveal that Aston Martin will be revealing the AMR 23 on the 13th of February. And yesterday, we had the announcement that Ferrari will be revealing whatever the heck they decide to call this car on the 14th of February, aka Valentine's Day. So they're cutting it really close to pre-season testing like nine days before. So, bit of a risk, but let's see how it works. But I do hope they get better microphones this year because last year's microphones during the reveal sounded a little bit like this. It was bad, like really bad. Now, there was another thing that I wanted to discuss really quickly. Mercedes yesterday, they um, posted a video of them starting up the, the W14's engine for the first time. And frankly, Eh, it sounded okay. It was a V6 turbo hybrid. You know, nothing that we're not used to at this point, so eh, it was okay. But I'm glad to hear they've got it underway now. On to the main bit. Oh, God. The FIA are up to their old tricks again. Well, I'm sure we know about the ruling they've made in the last few days. About any activism-y kind of statements that the drivers want to make now has to go in for approval. So, to give you guys an example here. If Lewis Hamilton wants to wear his gay rights helmet that he usually wears, he will now have to get that approved by the FIA before doing so. Or he'll get fined. Or if he wants to wear his Black Lives Matter t-shirts, that will also need approving. Now, I will say that the FIA seemingly can't touch this outside of a race event. But, yeah, there's a, there's a few questions being raised about this, because until only 2021... They had the We Race As One movement, which of course was them promoting diversity, equality, and all that sort of stuff. And it seems that in the space of only a year, they've completely 180'd. And have gone into a state of political neutrality. Which isn't really the case, because this decision kind of puts them on one end of the fence anyway. Because they're not allowing drivers to just make their own statements, which is in itself, putting themselves on one side of the fence, rather than on the, on the fence. So, yeah, the FIA's kind of messed this up a bit. Like, the most neutral thing they could have done was let the drivers do it if they wanted to, like they have been. But now they've kind of put a stop to that, which puts them on the other side of the fence instead of on it, like I said. So... The FIA's kind of shot themselves in the foot here. Again. So, let's see how this goes. Like, I do also want to point out that this, this has only come out barely a month after Sebastian Vettel retired. Coincidence? I think not. But yeah, it's happened. Hopefully, at some point during the season, the FIA will realise, okay, yeah, that was a bad idea, and reverse it. Although, if they were smart, they wouldn't have done it in the first place. But... Here we are. And I do just want to briefly touch on the team principal situation. Yeah, Williams and Alfa Romeo still don't have one. So they're cutting it close. They're going to need to appoint one soon for each team. But yeah, I'm afraid guys, that's actually it for this video on this week's Formula 1 update. So please, like this video, subscribe to my Noxans and Frost's YouTube channels. Their links are in the description as always. My sub button is down there. Yep. That one, because I'm not going to say what colour it is, because it's going to be changing. Um, but once you've clicked our sub buttons, please click our bell icons as well to get all three sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because why the heck not? And let me know what you think of everything that I've talked about today, including the reveal dates for the cars, the FIA's new ruling, the Mercedes engine, and who you think the Williams and Alfa Romeo team principals are going to be. Once you've done that too, please follow me on the socials. They'll be in the, li in the link tree in the description Please as well check out Roxanne's website and Frost's Instagram. They'll be below my link tree. And lastly, please do share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye. <laughs>